that moment when you corner in the daily boat and everything goes to the other side of the vehicle. Alright, time to fix broken car. Um, developed a small oil leak in my feed line down there. It's one that looks awkward as hell. Uh, it's covered in electrical tape right now. Uh, the plan is cut it out and then in goes this. So it'll be golden. As soon as I find the tools. There it is. All right. So the repair to the car is going swimmingly, as you can tell, because I'm in the Colorado and I'm driving. So I gotta go to town to go to the vice so I can cut this again, clean it up and cut this, because I cut on a bit of an angle, I don't know if you can see it, there, and there's this tiny little angle and then there's a bracket and I can't fit the compression fitting from the hydraulic codes that I got on, so I have to go to town to get a little compression fitting and see if it'll go onto that little bit of an angle on here. And if it does, great. If not, I'm gonna have to cut the other one shorter. So I'm gonna cut like the chunk of, this end of chunk off of here. And then, yeah, it's been a good day so far. <sighs> Build a race car, they said. It'll be fun, they said. All right, so I'm on the return trip home. I have my compression fitting and I cut that line. So now all I have to do when I get home is put the hydraulic compression fitting onto this end of the line. And then I have to cut more off of the other line that's on there so that it can go on straight. And then hopefully it all goes nice, simple and easy and it goes in and goes on and I'll be golden. Um, yeah, we, I will record as soon as I'm finished. This is just so you guys get to see all the wonderful things you go through when you build a race car. But it's still better than payments, right? It looks fixed. I've added oil. Nothing looks to be leaking. So, uh, yeah. Now I just gotta go and take the car for a wash and clean down the engine bay and I'll be able to detect leaks better.